Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here. And I was having a conversation with my friend Bill. You know Bill, Bill Frady from Lock and Load Radio. And we were talking about the turnout bag or the rollout bag or the whatever. He said, well, if there was a situation where you're using your primary rifle, your primary gun, right? And this is, you guys might recognize this, this is the ARMED, or the Armalite Rifle Minimum Effective Dose. If you haven't watched that video, we've got a video that explains all about it and an article. But suffice it to say that this is a 5.56 black rifle. Okay, it's a 5.56 green rifle. Let's say this is your primary gun. Bill said, he said, well, I was talking to some peers and some people that I respect about putting all of your extra gear, blowout kit, mags and stuff on a plate carrier. And he said, my friend asked me, he said, do you ever wear that plate carrier? Have you ever trained in it? Do you train in it regularly or do you just have it? And he said, I have it. He said, well, it's probably not a great idea. It's probably not gonna work well for you if you never train with it. He said, you're probably better off with some type of a bag or a bandolier bag or what have you. So let us say, let us say for the sake of argument that you live in a relatively good neighborhood or a good part of the county or what have you, but you have an Aunt Susan who lives in the house she's lived in for 40 years. And let's face it, the neighborhood's not what it used to be. It's crap, right? Where you live, you're not really worried about civil disturbances because you live in a good place. But Aunt Susie lives in a neighborhood that used to be good, and now it's crap, and the city that Aunt Susie lives in has descended into civil disorder. And you need to go save Aunt Susie, right? You need to go save Aunt Susie. Get in the truck, we're going to get Aunt Susie. All right, you know there's civil disorder. You know that bad people are doing bad things. So you're a smart human being, and you take your rifle. Then you grab what? Do you ever wear a vest? If you never wear a vest, and you're just going to use it once in a while, or maybe in an emergency ever, you're probably better off with a bag like this. This is the Minuteman bag, or the rollout bag, or this is the we're going to go save Aunt Susie bag. Now, we at Student of the Gun always believe you should have the fundamental four on you at all times. That's lethal, sharp, bright, and medical. And in this bag, we have a lethal, we have a sharp right here, we have a bright, get the other pouch there, we have a bright, there you go, and we have medical, we have the pocket lifesaver enhanced kit, not only do we have that, but I've got a, a spare tourniquet right here, this is the rats from Ready Man right there. Because this is the Save Aunt Susie bag, and my primary gun is this one right here. I might want to have some extra beans for this thing. I might want to actually have some extra pills. So what do I have right here in this outside pocket? I've got another 30 Black Hills 77 grain. If you're just going to screw around at the range, have fun with your buddies, you know, shoot cardboard and targets and so forth, probably, probably any ammo will do. If you're going to use ammo for real to save your life or the life of someone else, spend the money for the good stuff. And uh, this is stuffed with Black Hill 77 grain, right there, right there. This is Speed Feed or a Sure Feed magazine. Uh, I think they discontinued these. Uh, it's a good magazine, I don't know why they did this, whatever. Uh, and then also I've got some Happy Spray here or some Sad Spray, depending on your perspective. It's a Happy Spray if I'm on this end, it's a Sad Spray if you're on that end of it. But uh, if we're going to save Aunt Susie, we might encounter uh, troglodytes and mongoloids that don't need to be shot, but they do need to go fornicate in another direction. And a great way to make people fornicate into another direction is with a nice big hefty eight ounce can of bear spray. So there you go. That is the answer to the question. Uh, if plate carriers are great, don't get me wrong, but you've got to train with them. You have to set it up, you have to put it on your body, you have to go out and you have to train regularly with it. If you just have a vest or a plate carrier and you never wear it, never use it, but it's just in case, 
when you put it on, it's probably, you're probably gonna, it's gonna be a disaster. So the Saving Aunt Susie bag might actually just be a better option for you. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I'm Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, student for life.